Guardian Home Inspection performing sewer line inspection for 32263 via Bejarano, Temecula, California, 92592. Square footage is 3968. Five bedrooms, four bathrooms. We're going through a three inch clean out located at the rear of the property. Here's the property here. My machine. So, here we go. Might be a little dirty here. But the first part, I have the kitchen sink water turned on, so we'll see when that. Actually, one of the bathrooms turned on. So, this is three inch ABS pipe. So, the goal here is to reach the main city connection underneath the street. There's another. Y, a little dump there. Uh, no issues so far. A little bit of water. 26 feet out. So right here we have a little bit of standing water, but I don't think it's too much of an issue. So uh, I'm using the rear clean out because I wanted to see underneath the house. This is underneath the house. 36 feet out, still underneath the house. And then um, once we get further out, I might have to switch this camera to the front. Uh, there is a city connection or a city sewer clean out in the front, but I wanted to see what's happening underneath the house. Uh, so far, this line appears serviceable. I don't see any issues with it, but you know, it can change pretty quick. Here's a little stagnant water, a little low slope push past it. Maybe Angela went to the bathroom. I don't know. So, uh, still looking good. So the property faces north. So that's how this sewer line is heading out to the street, to the front of the property. Like I said, sometimes it gets a little harder to push this. And that's probably where it bathroom water is turned on here so it's like a little raceway going out to the front a little grimace on my camera looking okay still flush the toilet to get that water away. camera head there. There's the brush of water. There you go. Alright, now I'll continue. At this point it starts getting tougher to push. I'm 80 feet, 87 feet out, 88. See the bottom number. And the slope of the camera looks proper. Uh, it's sloping down, which that's what you need. I'm not getting the greatest picture here. There you go. There's a clear picture. So the bottom of the pipe does show some wear there. See that? I don't believe it's cracks. It's just gunk buildup. Yeah, so right now it looks like it looks like you, you might need a hydrojet this because it's buildup at the bottom. See how it's all that buildup? It could clog eventually. So I do recommend hydrojetting this line. Look at that. It's a lot of buildup down there. It's 
supposed to be round here. So it's all the years of grimace. Yeah, so definitely a lot of grease build up. I don't know if they were flushing grease down this line, uh, but I do recommend uh, hydro jetting. And this is the city connection. That's it, city saddle. So that's the city right there. This is your line here. Uh, so it looks good, other than all that excess grimace. See that? Uh, so I do recommend hydro jetting that line. Um, just so it doesn't continue to get worse or uh, uh, have an issue with that. So I'm going to retract my line. So, so far, I mean, looks good. Just all that uh, bottom grimace down at the bottom of the pipe. See how it's all just sitting down there? It's old crud. Um, so I do recommend having this line hydrojet uh, approximate hydrogen is about $800 just to clear this line to you know clean it up here and the line is white PVC 4 inch 6 inch pipe looks good I don't see any issue with it except the hydrojet uh, so I do recommend that so right now I'm just going to retract my camera all the way back and that was a few area, that was from the main city, I mean, that was from the clean out that had that excess gunk. It could have been from, uh, you know, excess uh, sewer line introduction, uh, maybe from, you know, I can't guess, but maybe from an RV that was in the front of the property um, and they were dumping into here. Not sure. So all this looks good so far. Um, just recommend the hydro jetting there. out so I'm just backtracking to what we had earlier so now I'm underneath the house All done.